Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Quant whose current price stands at the 122.2 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 11.8 percent and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the edu 12 structures the Fibonacci's the key areas of support and resistances and also draw out any key chart patterns that you have information on this chart and I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the quant chart from the all-time high we have been seeing no prices in this massive abc corrective movement which took us back to around the 41.9 dollar mark and after seeing that low we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side which has been obeying the edu 12 structures and if i jump to the forward chart for further analysis here on the forward chart you can see after making our low down there we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side having that as the first wave to the upper side then a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4 and then continued pushing higher in a wave 5 making our picket around the $228 mark. Having seen the formation of that fifth wave to the upper side that completed a higher edu to wave count 1 to the upper side and having seen the formation of a higher edu to wave count 1 whatever I expected next is the formation of a higher edu to wave count 2 and I believe that is what we have been seeing here on the current chart and to get a minimum retracement area in the formation of that high edu 12 count 2 i can use the fibonacci is connecting them from the low of that first wave to the high of that wave one and that gives me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 as a minimum and initially here on the chart i had that as the minimum target area but yesterday i had to extend this uh, target area back to around the fib level 0.78 fib level because we had lost a key area of support at around the one one dollar mark and removing the fibonacci's so that we can see this better you can see we have come down into this target area and we have retraced into this target area perfectly and at around the one 100 dollar mark we had a key area of support and down here we have seen a reversal to the upper side as i'll be showing you on the hourly chart so jumping to the one hour chart you can see here on the one hour chart uh, we have seen the formation of a second wave where we have been trading we had been trading within this channel having more than three touch points and managed to break out of the channel to the lower side and after breaking out of the channel we also lost a key area of support at around the 108 dollar mark and that is when we made our low yesterday at around the 94.5 dollar mark and after making that low at around the 94 dollar mark now we have started to see a very nice reversal over here in what i'm terming as a wave 3 to the upper side that is a higher edu wave count 3 which is an impulsive movement so i also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave 3 to the upper side so assuming that low is in at around the 94 dollar mark whatever we have been seeing over here has been obeying the edu 12 structures and if i draw it out we can have this as the first wave to the upper side then we have seen a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a wave two then this is what is forming a wave three then i'm expecting a wave four and then continue pushing higher in the formation of a wave five and once you see the formation of a wave five then we can name that as a higher edu to wave count one to the upper side which is a fractal wave within that higher edu to wave count three to the upper side and getting a little bit into the details of this edu to wave structure that i have over here which is a fractal wave uh, now that we're in the formation of a wave 3 we can use the fibonacci's to get to see whether this wave 3 to the upper side has done the minimum that we expect a wave 3 to the upper side to do connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of that first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and to get a minimum target area we can either use the fib ratios one is to one fib ratios and using the fib ratios one is to one fib ratios we get a minimum target area back to around the 122 dollar mark which we have fully maximized we can also extend that to give it a benefit of doubt to the upper side using the fib level 1.618 and that gives me a minimum target area back to around the 133 dollar mark so there are two possible scenarios that can play out over here and i can mark the 133 dollar mark here on the charts like that so there are two possible scenarios that can play out over here there's a possibility that we have we might have seen the high of that wave three to the upper side and whatever we are seeing over here might be a bit of a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a fourth wave so using the fibonacci is connecting them from the low of that wave two to the high of that wave two uh, uh, wave three at around the 125 dollar mark we can get a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of these wave 
with 4 over here between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that perfectly lies between the 114.9 dollar mark and the 112.4 dollar mark so there's a possibility of quant retracing into that target area then giving us a very nice impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of our wave 5 to complete this higher edit wave count 1 to the upper side the other possible scenario is in case quant sees an increase in volume and we continue pushing higher and maybe get to the FIB level 1.618 then we can name that as the high for that wave 3 to the upper side then we can start sketching out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 before we continue pushing higher in the formation of this wave 5 so those are the two possible scenarios that I want to prepare you here on the quant chart that can play out uh, in the next few days and you can also see that here on the one hour chart we are also trading above the 20 day MA meaning it's giving us support and we have support for us to continue pushing higher because we have the support of the 20 day MA we are also trading above the 108 dollar mark which is a key area of support also and that would mean higher prices uh, will be supported here on the chart jumping back to the 4 hour chart so that we can also take a look at the indicators here on the RSI on the RSI we are trading at around the 57 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side in the formation of that with uh, with three to fully maximize the FIB level 1.618 and also any movements to the lower side in a retracement in the formation of our wave 4 on the RSI will still be supported also taking a look at the MACD on the 4 MACD we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out whether we are going to see the formation of that higher edit wave count 3 and that's the update for quant